Well, Liam Power has got more than just a few tricks up his sleeve. The Aussie magician has travelled the globe learning from the best in the world. Yeah, following his sold-out shows at last year's Fringe Festival, Liam is back with bigger surprises that promise to leave audiences spellbound. We love that word. Liam Power joins us live in the studio. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? Nothing up your sleeves? No, no, nothing up. You can take it if you like. Uh, tell us about your show at this year's Fringe Festival. Where's the Fringe Festival? The Fringe Festival is scattered sort of throughout the inner west, so Marrickville, oh, okay, Newtown right. and okay. more. Um, yeah. uh, so my show this year is called A Muggle Goes to Hogwarts. Um, <laughs> yes. And basically, is J.K. Rowling all okay with that? I haven't checked. I hope not. <laughs> Surely don't. the rights have run out for that by now. Please, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm not actually doing anything out of the book. I'm just using the name uh, of Hogwarts. That's it. But uh, so basically, the premise of the show is that I, I went to Hogwarts or wizard school, but I'm a Muggle, and yeah. so I had to learn magic the old-fashioned way, with sleight of hand and misdirection, to kind of replicate the wizard tricks. That's going to be his biggest trick of all: getting <laughs> getting out of that lawsuit. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, you, got, you got a trick for us? Yeah, I have, I've got a trick what, for sorry, you. What's a Muggle again? Muggles are non... A non-magic person. A non-magic. Just a me and you, basically. So we're a couple of muggles. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You're a Snorlax. <laughs> what yes. are you going to do for us? What are you going to do? You got All right. So um, one thing that they uh, they do in the book is they try to get into your mind and, and read your thoughts a little yes. bit. Yes. Okay. Um, and I've, I've got some muggle tricks for that too. So right. I've got a deck of cards here. Mm -hmm. um, and Larry, I've been studying you the last week since they told me I was going to come on. I've been watching the morning show and I've, I've kind of studying your manner, mannerisms and stuff right. like that. And I've kind of I've got an idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a card out of the pack, right? Yeah. I'm going to place it in my pocket here. But yep. the rest of them are still here. Yep. Now, Larry, I'm going to look away. I'm going to go like this. Anytime you like you say stop, I'll show the card to you and Kylie. Okay. okay. Ready? Alright. Stop. You happy with that one? Yes. Okay, yep, and you both right. saw, right? Yeah. Okay, it just, I don't mainly show Kylie so that you can't cheat and just lie to me on camera. No, no, I would never cheat. <laughs> um, so, basically, the cards are all mixed up, um, and you saw one. When I count to three, I want you to name any other card except the one you saw. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course. Ready? One, two, three. Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. I'm going to work out what card you chose by how you changed your mind, by the other card that you named. Okay? Right. So most people, when they do this, most people change the colour of the card. Yes. Most people. Right. Uh, but you're not like most people. In, in, in a good way. That's I'm true. Not, yeah. So, so Queen, of, Queen of Hearts is a red card, but you also chose a red card. Yes, I did. Uh, but you changed the suit because it would be too obvious to keep it a heart. So it I'm going to say stupid. You, you chose a diamond. Don't, don't give him too much. Yeah, no, no. Now, here's, here's where I sort of studied your mannerisms, right, Larry? If you have... If you look at me directly in the eye, just for a moment. I don't want to look at you in the eye. Oh, come All on, right. dude. All right, and I'm going to go through, and I'm going to go ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Now, hopefully, his, his eyes didn't give much away, but your hand down there kind of, you, you tensed up a little bit at one point. Um, so, <laughs> I think hopefully, if I go through, I'm looking for one card, this one right here. I'll place it on the top of the pack. Yeah. I'll leave the pack down here. For the first time, Larry, what was your card? Uh, seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds? No! It, was it my... Wow. What gave that away? My beady little eyes. It was your hand. But remember, Larry, how I put one card yes, in my I pocket at the, the very, pocket. very beginning, yes. right before we started. Now, the only way I could have known you were going to choose seven of diamonds is if I always knew you'd say queen of hearts. No! It's... <laughs> oh, it's magic. Oh, God, I'm scared now. You should that's be. That's really <laughs> that's not. Amazing. That's really great. That's, you... that's amazing. Thanks. Which because all, that, all of that was, um, but all of that was from my bitty little eyes. Yeah, that's right. from your head. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you, you know, if if, if your wife's watching for like you know four easy payments of ninety nine, I can teach you how to tell if you're lying anytime. <laughs> 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 Mate, that is phenomenal. Thank you so Liam. much for that. Just a glimpse that's of what we're going to get at Liam's um, uh, performing at part of this year's uh, Sydney Fringe Festival. Thank you. That is mind-boggling stuff. Liam Power is his name. Yeah. Head over to our website Powerful. for all the ticket details. How did you do that? Sam?